Hello and welcome back to Solve Problems in Electric Circuit Analysis Series. In this video, we're going to solve some problems on resistance, resistivity, and temperature coefficient of resistance. But before we begin, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click the like, share, and notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's begin. Problem number one. What is the resistance at 20 degrees Celsius of a 50 meter solid copper wire with a diameter of 2.5 millimeters? So if this is our conductor with a length L and a cross-sectional area A, the resistance is given by the formula rho L divided by A. R is the resistance of the conductor in ohms. Rho is the resistivity of the material of conductor in ohm meter. L is the length of the conductor. And A is the cross-sectional area of the conductor. So in here, our length is 50 meters. The resistivity of copper is 1.723 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meter. The diameter of the conductor in the problem is 2.5 millimeters or equal to 0 0.0025 meters. So the first uh, step is to compute for the area or the cross-sectional area of the conductor. The area of the conductor is given by the formula pi d squared divided by 4 since this is a circular cross-section. So our d is 0 0.0025 meters divided by 4. So the area will be 4.909 times 10 to the negative 6 square meters and then we'll substitute that to the formula then it will give us 1.723 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meter times 50 meters divided by the area which is 4.909 times 10 to the negative 6 square meters it will give us a resistance of 0 0.175 ohms problem number two Calculate the resistance at 20 degrees Celsius of the aluminum bus bar shown in the figure below. So in this problem, the aluminum bus bar has a rectangular cross-sectional area. So we denote the length of the rectangular cross-section by small letter L, which is equal to 100 mm or 0.1 meters. And the width of the cross-sectional area is equal to uh, 12 millimeters or 0 0.012 meters and then the length of the bus bar is 20 meters the resistivity of the aluminum conductor is equal to 2.825 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meter so we're going to calculate the area first the area is given by the formula length times width which is equal to 0 0.1 meters times 0 0.012 meters which is equal to 0 0.0012 square meters and then we'll substitute that area to the formula r is equal to rho times l divided by a so rho is equal to 2.825 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meters times the length of uh, 20 meters divided by the area calculated which is 0 0.0012 square meters that will give us a resistance of 0 0.471 milliohms Problem number 3. Determine the resistance of a copper wire at 20 degrees Celsius if its diameter is 0 0.0508 inch and the length is 300 feet. The resistivity of copper at 20 degrees Celsius is 10.36 circular mil ohm per foot. So in this problem, the resistivity of copper is, is expressed in a different unit which is circular mil per foot. So if we have a conductor with circular cross-sectional area with a diameter in mils, 1 mil is equal to 0 0.001 inch or 1 over 1000 inch. Since the resistivity of the conductor is given in circular mil ohm per foot, we're going to convert first the diameter in inches to mil. So we're going to multiply 0 0.0508 inch times 1 mil divided by 0 0.001 inch that will give us a diameter of 50.8 mils 
the area of a circular conductor in circular mills is given by the formula A CM is equal to D mills squared or the area in circular mill is equal to the diameter in mills squared. Since we have the diameter of 50.8 mills, the area will be 50.8 squared or 2580.64 circular mils. Now we can substitute the values to the formula R is equal to rho times L divided by A. Our resistivity is equal to 10.36 circular mil ohm per foot and then our length is 300 feet and then divide that by 2580.64 circular mils. That will give us a resistance of 1.204 ohms. Problem number 4. A copper wire has a resistance of 75 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. What is the resistance at 75 degrees Celsius? If the temperature coefficient of resistance of copper at 0 degrees Celsius is 0 0.0043 per Celsius degree. So in here, uh, temperature 1 is equal to 0 degrees Celsius and our resistance 1 is equal to 75 ohms. Temperature 2 is equal to 75 degrees Celsius and resistance 2 is what we're going to calculate. The temperature coefficient of resistance is equal to 0 0.043 per Celsius degree. So the formula is R2 is equal to R1 times the quantity 1 plus alpha multiplied by the quantity T2 minus T1. So in here, T1 is equal to the temperature at which the temperature coefficient of resistance is based on. So in this case, since the temperature coefficient of resistance is based on 0 degree Celsius, therefore 0 degree Celsius will be our T1. And then T2 is the other temperature which is 75 degree Celsius. So if we substitute the values to our formula, R2 is equal to 75 ohms times the quantity 1 plus alpha which is 0 0.043 times the quantity 75 minus 0. So because our T2 is 75 and our T1 is 0. So that will give us 75 times quantity 1 plus 0 0.043 times 75 or 75 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.3225 that will give us a resistance R2 of 99.19 ohms. Problem number 5 The resistance of an aluminum cable at 35 degrees Celsius is 30 ohms. Determine its resistance at 0 degrees Celsius. Use a temperature coefficient of resistance at 0 degrees Celsius of 0 0.0038 per Celsius degree. So in here, since our temperature coefficient of resistance is based on 0 degrees Celsius, then that will be our T1 and T2 will be 35 and R2 is equal to 30 ohms at a temperature T2. So T2 is 35 degrees Celsius. R1 is the missing value that we're going to calculate and T1 is 0 degrees Celsius and our temperature coefficient of resistance is 0 0.0038 per Celsius degree. So we substitute the values to the formula 30 ohms is equal to R1 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.0038 per Celsius degree times the quantity 35 minus 0. So that will give us 30 ohms is equal to R1 times 1.133. So divide the 30 ohms by 1.133 to give us R1 which is equal to 26.48 ohms. And for our last problem, a wire has a resistance of 175 ohms at 18 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the wire is raised and resistance increases to 220 ohms. Assuming the temperature coefficient of resistance of the wire at 18 degrees Celsius is 0 0.004 per Celsius degree, determine the temperature at which the wire is raised to. So for this problem, our R1 is 175 ohms because our reference temperature T1 is 18 degrees. 
because the temperature coefficient of resistance is based on the temperature. So T1 is 18 degrees Celsius. And then R2 is 220 ohms after raising the temperature to T2, which is unknown. And our temperature coefficient of resistance is 0 0.004 per Celsius degree. So, substituting the values to the formula, 220 ohms is equal to 175 ohms times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.004 times the quantity T2 minus 18. Or 220 is equal to 175 ohms plus 175 times 0 0.004 times the quantity T2 minus 18. So it will give us 220 minus 175 ohms. We just transpose this 175 to the left side of the equation and then evaluate the remaining part on the right side. So it will give us 0 0.7 times the quantity T2 minus 18. And then 220 minus 175 ohms is equal to 45 ohms. And then distribute the 0 0.7 to this uh, quantity. So it will give us 0 0.72 minus 12.6. And then we solve for T2. So transpose 12.6 to the other side of the equation again. So 45 plus 12.6 divided by 0 0.7. So that will give us a temperature T2 of 57.6 divided by 0.7 which is equal to 82.29 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's it for our video for today and uh, try solving these uh, practice problems to test your knowledge. Thank you very much and God bless.